Hello and welcome. This is Ms. Tabissum. I hope you all are fine by the grace of the Almighty. Today I am here to revise a topic of English grammar that is nouns. So let's get started. Here it goes. Revision of nouns. Let's see what are nouns. Nouns are the names of people, animals, places, things, ideas and groups. Nouns are classified into proper nouns and common nouns, collective nouns, concrete nouns and abstract nouns, material nouns, countable nouns and uncountable nouns, and possessive nouns. Let's see what are proper nouns. Proper nouns are specific names of people, places or things. Let's see some examples. Here you can see the picture of Taj Mahal, which is a monument. This is proper noun. This is Mahendra Singh Dhoni, the former captain of Indian cricket team. So here, Taj Mahal and MS Dhoni are proper noun because these talks about particular or individual person and monument. Thus, it is a proper noun. Common nouns. Common nouns are general names of people, animals, places or things. Let's see some examples. Yeah, as you can see, this is a village. It may be any village. Let's say Ramgar, Lakshmangar or maybe Ratanpur or any other village. Here, no specific name is being mentioned. Thus, this is a common noun. This is a picture of a flower. Common noun. This is a picture of a girl. No name of the girl is being mentioned. Thus, village, flower and girl are common nouns. Proper nouns begin with capital letters. Common nouns begin with small letters except when they are used to begin a sentence. Proper nouns include the names of persons, buildings, streets, towns, cities, countries, monuments, oceans, rivers, continents, days, months, festivals, subjects, newspapers and magazines. Collective nouns are names for a group or set of animals or things considered as a single unit. Collective means something like collection and it's a name given to a group of animals or things considered as one. Let's see some examples. As you can see, here are a group of puppies. So we can call them litter of puppies. A collection of flowers is a bouquet of flowers. A group of owls are a parliament of owls. Let's see some more collective nouns. A team of players or a team of workers. A gang of criminals or a gang of thieves. An army of soldiers or a troop of soldiers. A fleet of ships. A gaggle of geese. A swarm of bees or a swarm of locusts. A constellation of stars. A herd of cattle. A pack of wolves or a pack of curds. A flight of stairs, a bunch of keys, a bunch of grapes or a bunch of flowers. We also use a bouquet for flowers.
so these are the only few which you can remember there are many more so you can increase your vocabulary by learning this as well concrete nouns concrete nouns refers to things which we can touch and see they can be both countable and uncountable like book we can count book we can see we can touch toy we can see we can touch as well as this is countable mobile phone so book toy mobile phones these are concrete nouns as we can touch and see they can be both countable as well as uncountable abstract nouns abstract nouns are the names of feelings and ideas they are things that can be experienced or felt but not seen or touched they include feelings experiences states qualities and ideas let's see some examples yes wisdom anger and bravery these are abstract nouns as these are the names of feelings and ideas material nouns material nouns are names of substances used to make things here you can see some woolen clothes so these are made up of wool the table and chair are made up of wood this necklace is made up of gold so here gold gold wool and wood are material nouns countable nouns are those that can be counted as the very name suggests countable nouns have two forms singular forms and plural forms if there is one and only one person place or thing involved we call them singular forms if there is more than one person place or thing involved we call them plural forms singular noun is changed to plural by adding s es or ies Let's see some examples. Tree, trees, volcano, volcanoes, city, cities. Uncountable nouns cannot be counted. They do not have plural forms. Possessive nouns. Possessive nouns are used to show belonging. We can use apostrophe or apostrophe s with nouns to show possession. examples rohit's pen so to whom does the pen belong to rohit grandfather's house whose house grandfather's house it means the house belongs to grandfather whereas the pen belongs to rohit now let's do some exercise to understand this thing in much better way underline the nouns in the sentences and state their types here goes sentence number 1 nirvi decorated the earth with fairy lights during diwali here as you can see that nirvi and diwali are proper nouns and remember that proper nouns begins with capital letter earth and fairy lights are common nouns The boy burned his fingers while bursting firecrackers. Here, boy, fingers, and firecrackers are common nouns. Third, determination and positive thoughts will help you overcome the fear of failure. Determination, thoughts, fear, failure are abstract nouns, as these are ideas and feelings. Number 4 gold is a precious metal gold material noun metal common noun fifth i have wonderful memories of summer vacations spent in my grandfather's house in nainital 
Here, memories and vacations abstract nouns, grandfather, house common nouns, and nanital proper noun. Notice that N is with capital letter. Abraham Lincoln fought against self slavery in America. Abraham Lincoln and America are proper nouns, whereas slavery is abstract noun. Let's see one more exercise. Fill in the blanks with the correct collective nouns. Pride, flock, litter, band, fleet, range and school. We spotted a dash of dolphins in the ocean. A school of dolphins. We left the range of snow-capped mountains behind and headed towards the city. Third, my brother spotted a fleet of ships near the horizon. Fourth, the flock of colorful birds flew away into the evening sky. Sixth, we passed a pride of lions sitting under a tree during the jungle safari. Sixth, the band of musicians entertained the guests throughout the wedding ceremony. Insert apostrophes were required and rewrite the sentences. Number one, Shayla drops her daughters at her mother's house every day when she leaves for work. Here you see, the apostrophe will come only with mother because mother's house, it means the house belonged to Shayla's mother. So mother apostrophe S and then house. Second, our neighbor's dog was playing with a little boy. Here the dog of the neighbor, therefore neighbor apostrophe S. Third, I love my aunt's room which is always beautifully decorated with fresh flowers. So the room belonging to my aunt, aunt apostrophe S, aunt's room. Fourth, we haven't yet read Sudha Murthy's latest book. The apostrophe will come after Murthy. Fifth, the actor's unreasonable demands put the film crew under a great deal of pressure. Actor apostrophe S. Sixth, my parents' silver wedding anniversary is coming up next week. Here, the apostrophe will come after parents. So, my parents' silver wedding anniversary is coming up next week. That's all for the day. I hope you understood the lesson well. Thank you. Have a good day.